Hello everyone, my name is Paul Setner and I'm an Applications Engineer with Advanced Solutions Incorporated. And today I just want to go over a, a quick tip regarding Autodesk Inventor 2011. Uh, and this is the automatic audio notification that you'll hear uh, whenever we're applying our assembly constraints inside of the assembly environment. So something that we probably hear get probably a couple hundred times a day as we're working within our assemblies. But again, I'm sure everybody is familiar with the little knocking noise that we'll hear every time we start to replace an assembly constraint. So uh, while we, it is possible to go inside your application options, you can disable that noise. Uh, one of the things that I always thought was pretty cool was uh, looking into if we can actually change that noise. Uh, and the answer is yes. So it's a pretty easy solution actually. Um, it's a pretty nice way to easily customize and tailor obviously your, your seat of, of working inside of Inventor. And again, something that's kind of cool to maybe brag off to your coworkers about. But the process is actually pretty simple. So um, actually, if you browse into your install directory for Inventor, so C drive, program files, Autodesk, and then insert release name here, release year, um, at that level you'll see a, a bin folder. So if you actually browse into that bin folder, you'll see actually a pretty long list of files, but if you browse down a little bit, you'll see this file called connect, it's just a connect wave file. And as I play that, you'll hear that little knocking so sound that, again, we'll hear every single time applying an assembly constraint. So the trick here is basically just browse out to the internet, um, find a WAV file that, again, you think is uh, will work good. And again, think ahead a little bit and make sure you're, you're getting a file that you're going to want to hear again over and over again. So don't find something that's maybe uh, too long, uh, but a nice little short uh, WAV file. And again, the last trick here, or the last real uh, thing to remember is you basically just got to replace that name uh, that you'll download it as and replace it as uh, replace the name with with a, the word connect. So as I go ahead and replace this, I'm just going to copy and paste it into my install directory and overwrite my default connect wave file inside of my bin. Then as I come back into Inventor and reapply our assembly constraint. Nice work. We'll hear the new wave file that we've now applied. And we'll hear as we start applying each one of our assembly constraints. So, cool little tip. I always thought it's nice to look, uh, you know, add that little sense of, of customization within our environment. And again, maybe uh, sneak onto one of your coworkers' machines and and replace their their auto notification with something something a little bit humorous. But uh, hopefully, you enjoyed today's tip. And uh, again, I will uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks.